Hey guys, this is Steve Tillis of Reptilis Herbs and RedBloodPython.com. Today I'm going to be filming a video about sexing neonate blood pythons. Uh, what I have with me today are actually Borneo short tail pythons, but functionally speaking, this video will uh, just be equally as helpful. Um, so sexing blood pythons and short tail pythons can be a little bit challenging because they have, uh, or the females have, what's known as hemipenal homologs. Uh, and these can look an awful lot like uh, the hemipenes of a male. So a lot of times distinguishing between the two is not so much about does something pop out like in other species of snakes, but what the color and the thickness of what pops out um, looks like to determine what the sex is actually on the animal. Okay, so now I'll be demonstrating how to actually sex the snakes themselves. Um, so we're gonna start off with a male. So the first thing I like to do is to very lightly restrain the snake from the back of the head and then pinch the head kind of between the fleshy part of my thumb and my index finger. This is going to make sure the snake's not thrashing around and at risk of hurting itself or maybe even biting me and accidentally like ripping out teeth or something like that. Um, so then you're going to lightly place your thumb here and lightly, lightly place your thumb about half an inch from the cloaca and then roll upwards. And this is going to expose these two uh, hemipenes. Um, so clearly this is a male. This clutch was actually super easy to sex. Um, some clutches you'll notice are way harder than others. Some are pretty easy. So this is a male. You can see um, what comes out are, you know, really thick. Sometimes they'll be all kind of purpley in coloration. Sometimes they'll have like uh, kind of a more purplish reddish tip. Um, but they're very clearly thick and distinct things that pop out. Um, so again, this clutch was actually easier than a lot of other clutches um, I've done in the past. Um, so here is uh, a female to compare. So again, I'm going to just lightly restrain the snake. And you'll see that nothing significant comes out when you're popping them. Um, so you can kind of see right on the edge of my thumb what comes out right here. That would actually be a hemipenal homolog, and that could sometimes uh, distract you. If you see something that pops out and you say, oh, that's a female, um, or oh, oh, that's a male, when in fact it really is a female. So uh, this clutch was super easy, but I'm also going to show you some uh, slightly older animals that do have these hemipenal homologs to uh, make that point a little more clear. So this is going to be sexing of a slightly older animal. Um, so you can see kind of what pops out is a very thin, don't bite me, very thin uh, tissue, um, but something does actually pop out, but it's about a third of the diameter of a, um, a hemipene. So a lot of times people see this and say, oh darn, I've had a male, when in fact it is a female. So this is going to be a male to compare to, and you can see it's about a third, or about three times the diameter, and has that bright purpley tip. You know, let's pop out on one side, but so that's more along the lines of what you're looking for. So here's a female that was displaying hemipenal homologs. You can see what popped out right there. Uh, probably sticks out about half the length of a male, and is about a third the diameter. But something still does stick out. Overall, it's also uh, lighter in color. Um, so that can definitely be distracting if you're expecting a uh, female and something pops out. 